Today, I at Apollo Hospital Noida will be talking about a very important aspect of patient care that is quick and efficient transfer of patients from one facility to another. The hospital has the required equipment, infrastructure and highly trained and motivated staff to manage the transportation of these patients for in-house as well as transportation to another facility. A core responsibility lies in the safe transport of patients from wards and critical care units for the purpose of investigations in radiology and other diagnostic areas as per the requirements of the patient in the management to achieve good clinical outcomes. Patient safety during transportation is strictly followed under the norms laid down by the International Patient Safety Guidelines. A few important aspects in patient transfer need to be taken care of to minimize the and eliminate any risk for the patient safety. First and foremost, we need to evaluate the necessary vitals of the patient prior to the transfer. We also need to evaluate a few critical factors necessitating the need for transport like indication of transport, urgency of transfer, purpose of transfer whether therapeutic or diagnostic, transfer to a higher facility for further evaluation and management, resources required like a fully equipped cardiac ambulance with BLS and ACLS trained staff, availability of monitoring staff and equipment at their destination. It is very crucial to time the transfer. Most mishaps occur during off-duty hours due to poor preparation which leads to serious medical and legal repercussions. Transfer of patients may create an increased risk for mishaps and adverse events by disconnecting such critically ill patients from the equipment in the ICU to some kind of transport gear, shifting them to another stretcher, reducing the personal and equipment around. Critically ill patients are at increased risk of mobility and mortality during transport. Risks can be minimized and outcomes improved with careful planning, appropriately qualified personnel, selection, availability of appropriate equipment. All staff potentially involved in the transport of critically ill patients receives appropriate training in transfer and have the opportunity to gain experience in a supernumeracy capacity. All equipments within a critical care network are standardized to enable the seamless transfer of patients, for example, interruption of drug therapy or monitoring due to incompatibility of leads and transducers. We at Apollo Hospital Noida are happy to boast a high success rate on patient transfer of the reasons that we train our staff, anticipate problems and we constantly audit our transport processes. Prior to the transfer of any critically ill patient, a risk assessment is done and is documented by the consultant or other suitably experienced member of medical staff to determine the level of anticipated risk during transfer. The outcome of the risk assessment is used to determine the competencies of the staff required to accompany the patient during transfer. A pre-departure checklist along with informed consent are used to help to ensure that all necessary preparations have been completed. Standardized documentation is used across networks and is used for both inter-hospital and intra-hospital transport. These include a core data set up for audit purposes and the transport team retains a duplicate for such purposes. These measures are constantly reviewed by the quality team on a quarterly basis and any gaps that are identified in the SOPs of patient transfer are taken care of with the remedial measures. This has enabled the Apollo Hospital Noida to conduct the transfers following the best protocols laid down by the International Patient Safety Guidelines. Thank you.